Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadgehax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stream your personal photos, videos, and music to your Chromecast and other streaming devices. So Allcast has been available for Android devices for a while now, and it's finally made its way to iOS. So you can find Allcast for free in the App Store. So here I have it downloaded. The first time you open the application, you'll be asked to grant access to your photos, and then that's pretty much it for the whole setup. So now I'm going to open up Allcast. The first thing that I'm going to be streaming to my Chromecast, which is the streaming device that I'll be using, uh, which is connected back there, I'll be streaming photos. So I'm going to tap on photos. So here at the top, you'll see three categories for photos, video, and everything. So let's say I want to stream a photo to my Chromecast. I just tap on the photo. Then I select the streaming device, which for me is a Chromecast. And there you can see it in the back. If I swipe left or right, I can go and look at more photos and they'll change up there in the Chromecast. Okay, so now we're gonna head over to music. And the music that's gonna show up here is the music in your device storage and the one in your iCloud. You can go through songs by playlist, albums, and songs. So I'm just gonna play this and show you guys what it looks like on the Chromecast. So there you can see it here, controls to skip back, go forward and pause and play. And there you can see the music playing in the background. If you exit the song you're currently playing, you can still control it with the controls here at the bottom. And finally, you can add more sources. So you can connect your Instagram, your Dropbox, your Google Plus, and your Google Drive. So here you can see I've already connected my Instagram. So if I go to Instagram, I'll be able to view my timeline. So if I tap on a photo, it'll show up there. I can also go to my posts and view a photo. Uh, if there's a video, I can play the video of my post on Instagram up there, as you can see in the background. And you can also view the photos that you've liked. I also added Dropbox. So in Dropbox, I have a few episodes and movies. Here I have a 40 minute recording of Tim and Paula playing. You'll get this kind of screen and I can press play and it'll play in the background. Uh, using it for a short while, I didn't really get any lag. Uh, the application worked very smoothly. While there are ads that pop up from time to time here at the bottom, they don't really get in the way. But if you really want to get rid of them, you can go to Allcast Premium. And it's $5, and this gets rid of advertisements, splash screens, and limits on video lengths. Don't really know exactly what the video length limit is because I was able to play a 40 minute video, which is the one currently uh, in the background. So if you're not really streaming really long videos such as movies, uh, the free version should be okay. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgehacks. All right, thanks, guys.